Hi, all right, so let me show you guys the software that I use for embroidery. Um, there's quite a few out there. This is the only one that I've used, um, but it's been working great for me. So let me show you guys. All right, so I have here pulled up Embrilliant Stitch Artist Level 1. Embrilliant offers three levels. Uh, this one cost me $169. The others will cost more because they do have more features, but if you already have a version, they do give you a discounted price for the others. Uh, and Brilliance also offers different other programs. They're catered to different needs, so just keep that in mind. If you are someone like me who's a beginner and are looking to do, you know, some basic design work, uh, this is, I think, a great option to start. All right, let me walk you through some of the basic features here. So what you see here is a rectangle. As a rectangle is actually the perimeter of the five x seven hoop that I have for my machine. You can adjust this to the other size hoops that you may have, a four by four. Maybe you have a twelve by five. So you can you can modify this. I'm using a random image from the internet to give you an idea how some of the features work. All right, so. I use this one the most, the draw with points. Basically, I am outlining different shapes. So let's outline the head here. And then this other feature here closes the outline for you automatically. You can modify the shape and once you have it to how you like it, then you can select the stitch. They offer a few stitches. Uh, they have a basic run stitch a fill stitch, satin, and column, and these other weird shapes. And the other levels, will you'll see more stitch types available. They only offer one font, and it's this one. It's called a block font. You can adjust the size. If you want other fonts, you'd have to purchase them through their website or through Etsy or other websites that offer embroidery fonts. It has a stitch simulator so you can see how it will play out in your machine, which I think is pretty cool. And you can change the colors as well to match whatever you're working on and to give you a better idea how it's gonna look like. And as you create designs uh, or shapes, you can modify the order you'd like them to run in the machine. So that's pretty cool too. And the last thing I wanted to cover is that once you're done with your design, you save this into a PES file. So this file is what you would save into your USB and then plug it into your embroidery machine to um, embroider for you. And that's it. If um, there's anybody out there that uses it or they use different types of programs, um, yeah, comment and share. I would love to.